Good evening. Thank you. If I could have everyone's attention, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. My name is Kira Cook, and I serve on the Williamsburg James City County School Board, and I'm here to welcome you and then to turn the program over to Dr. Heron. So on behalf of the school board, I am pleased to welcome our honorees, their family members, friends, and fellow WJCC employees. Before I move on, I'd like to acknowledge the members of the school board who are here this evening. If they could please stand, I'd appreciate it. Ms. Lisa Ownby, Ms. Holly Taylor, and Mrs. I'm totally, <laughs> that is so Sandra Young. I'm sorry, Sandy. I was tripping on Sandy versus Sandra, sorry. Tonight, we are happy to celebrate WJCC staff members for their service and commitment to students and to the success of our schools. For some, we are celebrating a milestone of service, and for others, we express best wishes and gratitude for the many years and countless hours our retirees have dedicated to our school division. With over 600 combined years of experience in this room, I believe our retirees have earned some time off. Let's give them a round of applause. I'm truly amazed at the expertise and dedication in this room. It is my pleasure to, this evening to have this opportunity to express sincere appreciation for the contributions of these outstanding individuals, and I'd like to turn the program over to Dr. Heron, who will begin our with our service pin recipients. Thank you, Ms. Cook. We begin tonight's program with the recognition of our service pin recipients. These individuals have dedicated anywhere from 20 to 45 years of service to Williamsburg James City County Public Schools. As I call your name, please join me at the podium and Ms. Cook will present you with your pin. We will take a group photograph at the end this evening of both the pin recipients and then we'll take a photograph of the retirees at the end of the program as well. <clears throat> with 20 years of service, Cicely Baker. <laughs> Scott Bowser. Leslie Bradby. <laughs> Stephen Deere. Lois Delk. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure. Lillian Edwards. Willie Floyd. <clears throat> Eunice Gill. Scott King. <laughs> Mr. 
Shirley King. Kathleen Lynn. Julie Lipscomb. David Loudermilk. Quincy Marrow. <clears throat> Trina Matthews. <clears throat> Douglas Meredith. Gloria Merritt Robertson. <laughs> Thomas Knuckles. <laughs> Kimberly Parnell. Glenn Rotinger. <laughs> Renee Savage. <laughs> Strother Sharp. Jeffrey Smethurst. Charlotte Stowers. Trenton Strong. Barbara Tui. <laughs> Sylvia Walker. With 25 years of service, Thomas Anderson. Julie Bray. Karen Brigham. <laughs> Ruby Coles. <laughs> Lynette Herzberg Hughes. With 30 years of service to WJCC, Michael Kontakis. <laughs> Tamara Gilliam. <laughs> Karen Hooker. Margie Johnson. <laughs> B. 
Jude Mantos. <laughs> Douglas May. <laughs> Karen May. <laughs> Karen McClendon. Robert Moff. <laughs> Dorinda Oliphant Barsh. <laughs> Nancy Scott. Patricia Seftus. <clears throat> Gina Simon. <clears throat> Mildred Williams Pegram. With 40 years of service, Linda Crump. <laughs> Marion West. <laughs> and now with 45 years of service to WJCC, <laughs> Esther <laughs> Bunny Akers. Louise Marsh. <laughs> Randall Martin. <laughs> 40 and 45 years. With this many years of service, these individuals have created lasting legacies for us to follow and admire. Again, please join me in congratulating all of these individuals for their many years of much appreciated service. It is now with great honor that I share a little about the contributions of our retirees from WJCC this evening and a little about their plans for retirement. <laughs> Retirees, please join me at the podium as your name is called. Ms. Cook will then present you with a small token of our appreciation for your service. <clears throat> Larry Brantley. Larry has worked in WJCC for the past 40 years. He currently serves as lead mechanic and his must have for retirement is a shop or garage or garage as you say, <laughs> <clears throat> to continue working on machines. Larry plans to relocate to Kansas shortly after retirement. We wish you well, Larry, thank you. Robin Burford. After 41 years as a classroom teacher, Robin has decided it's time to spend more time with family. During her 23 years in WJCC, Robin served as a kindergarten teacher, team lead, and as a College of William and Mary cooperating teacher. One of her funniest moments in the classroom occurred after she read a kindergarten class, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance book. One of her students asked, but where's the witch? 
<laughs> After a few quiet moments, the student earnestly repeated his question and added, you said, for which it stands. <laughs> Great story. Robin, thank you for your service and all the best. <clears throat> Anne Jo Cosgrove. <clears throat> During her 18 years in WJCC, Anne Jo worked as a special education teacher assistant, teacher and teacher coordinator for the Project Search job training program. After retiring in July, Anne Jo got right back in the game and is working again and full, excuse me, with full-time volunteering for the Virginia Master Naturalist and also planning special dates with her two granddaughters. Her best advice for student success is always to remember social and interpersonal skills are just as important as academic skills. Thank you for your service. All the best. <laughs> Angela Angie Diggs. <laughs> With over 36 years in WJCC, Angie has decided to trade the coordination of school records for the coordination of vacations that have absolutely <laughs> no time restraints. During her career, Angie held positions such as executive secretary, school board clerk, and more recently, coordinator of records administration. When asked what words of wisdom she'd like to leave with colleagues, Angie's reply was simple. Remain flexible, and most importantly, don't sweat the small stuff. Congratulations, Angie, and thank you for your service. Steve Gallus. <laughs> this, this evening, uh, Stephanie Gallus, wife of Steve Gallus, is joining us at the podium to represent Steve. This spring, our community lost not only an amazing psychologist and educational leader, but a genu genuinely kind and compassionate human being. Steve Gallus worked for WJCC schools for over 30 years as a school psychologist, serving as lead and interim supervisor for many of those years. Those who had the privilege of working with Steve know of his passion and willingness to reach out and selfishly provide for students in need. His expertise was valued by all and he is greatly missed. Steve would tell his fellow retirees to do what you love. And if it happens to be fly fishing, he will be smiling down on you and cheering you on to hook one. We love Steve. Beth Hagee, please join us at the front. <laughs> 40 years ago, Beth walked into a WJCC school as an elementary school teacher on a mission to make a difference in the lives of children. Well, she certainly has had a rich career as a teacher and as a reading recovery teacher as well. When asked about her funniest teaching moment, Beth recalled once when teaching first grade, a chaperone arrived just a little intoxicated. <laughs> Before dismissing the parent, Beth recalls joking with her team leader that this parent might have had the right idea about how best to chaperone a group of first graders. <laughs> Beth, thank you very much for your service and your sense of humor as well. 
All the very best. Janice Holloway. <laughs> During the past 33 years in WJCC, Janice worked as a teacher's aide and media assistant at James Blair, Lafayette, and Warhill. In retirement, Janice is looking forward to much needed rest and relaxation. Throughout the years, Janice's philosophy for staying positive has always been to find time for laughter and put God first. We wish you all the best, Janice, in your retirement. <clears throat> Ewan McLeod. Fourteen of Ewan's 25 years in education were right here in WJCC as a school psychologist. Though Ewan misses working with students and colleagues, he's already enjoying retired life. His plans are simply to enjoy life, travel, and number one on his list, relax. And I believe he's just back from a trip to Scotland. So welcome back. Uh, Ewan, we wish you all the best in your retirement, and thanks for your service. Thank you. Ewan is one of the few in the world who understands everything I say. <laughs> Karen Mason. Karen retired from Laurel Lane in January after 33 years in WJCC. As a computer resource teacher, Karen enjoyed watching children develop their innovation and curiosity for technology. She's excited about retirement because she now can focus on the joys of life, like spending quality time with family and friends. Karen, we wish you all the best. Thank you for your service. <clears throat> Leonard Speedy Morris. <laughs> Leonard spent 26 years in WJCC, but decided in March it was time to retire so that he could enjoy whatever life throws his way. Prior to his retirement, Leonard served as head custodian for Matoka Elementary School. Though Leonard enjoyed a wonderful career in WJCC, he said it felt good to turn in his retirement paperwork. <laughs> he has definitely earned some time to relax. Leonard, Leonard, we, we wish you all the best in your Thank retirement. You. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Kim Orthner. After relocating to 12 different school systems in support of her husband's army career, Kim spent the last 15 years of her career here with us in WJCC. She retired as a speech language pathologist last July so that she could spend more time traveling with her husband, enjoying time and family with family and volunteering in the community. Kim, we can definitely help you out with the last one, the volunteering <laughs> piece, and find you a place to volunteer in our schools. Thank you for your service and enjoy retirement. Thank you. <clears throat> Ellen Picard. Ellen has spent the last seven of her 46 years 
in education here in WJCC. During her career, Ellen served as a teacher of English as a second language, a Title I teacher, and a teacher in adult education. Albeit 25 years ago, Ellen still recalls the funniest moment of her teacher career was when a mother admittedly came to a conference just to see if her son's description of Ellen wearing mismatched clothes and having pink hair was actually true. <laughs> no worries, Ellen. Your conference days will be, will be behind you soon, but we appreciate your service and, and have a wonderful retirement. Thank you so much. <laughs> David Schultz. For the past 18 years, David could be found teaching math at Tuano Middle School. He described a key ingredient to a successful 28-year career as having fun in the classroom every single day. Though David could not identify concrete plans for his retirement, one thing is certain, they will definitely not involve getting up at 5 a.m. in the morning. No uh, David, we wish you well in your retirement. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Marilyn Schultz. <clears throat> After 39 years as a regular and special education teacher, Marilyn has decided it's time to retire. Like her husband, Marilyn's retirement plans are wide open but she assures us that the only paperwork she, she plans to generate are honey-do lists. <laughs> a funny moment in Marilyn's career was when, the when she uh, team taught a unit about time and accidentally talk taught the hands of the clock backwards. She and her fellow teacher even dressed in character and did not realize their error until the second day of the lesson. <laughs> After laughing at their mistake, they were quite relieved that the entire first grade class learned to tell time accurately that year. <laughs> Marilyn, we wish you well in your Thank retirement. You. Thank you for your service. You. Lisa Smith. Lisa has spent 30 of her 32 years in teaching in WJCC. She worked at five of our nine elementary schools as a classroom teacher, reading recovery teacher, and reading specialist. Her advice to the teacher who, replace, who replaces her is to follow their bliss and always bring joy to the classroom. Lisa's plans for retirement include learning new things, making kittens purr at the animal shelter, and reading to kids. Lisa also plans to sew quilts. I can see the making of a second career right there. <laughs> Lisa, we wish you all the best for your retirement. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Mary Whitley. During Mary's 40 years in education, she served as an elementary, middle, and special education teacher. This year, when she told her special education students she was retiring, they were disappointed and wanted her to stay. She finally shared, I've been teaching for 40 years, isn't that enough? <laughs> the students initially froze and later shouted in unison, you are 40? <laughs> Mary has outlined her retirement wonderfully. She and her husband have established a 10-year plan to visit all 50 states. And during that time, oh, sorry, during that downtime during their travel, Mary plans to write books. Mary, we wish you well in your retirement and thank you for your service. You. 
I would ask all honorees, both service pin and retirees, to please stand as we recognize you just once again. Please stand. Your service and commitment to WJCC is greatly valued, and I thank you for joining us this evening. I would also like to thank the Human Resources Department for organizing this wonderful event, and the Public Relations and Engagement Department for their support of the event as well. At the end of this evening, if you remember, we're going to take a group photograph up front of PIN recipients, and don't go very far away, retirees, your photograph will come second. Again, thank you everyone and have a fabulous evening. Thank you.